Is this a fad, uh, you think, the bulletin board? Is this CB radio and then it will die out? Or is this a kind of new permanent way for people to communicate with each other? Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 forgotten online chat platforms. And just like video chatting, you can chat with more than one person at a time. All your contacts from Gmail and Google Talk will be preloaded into the gadget. Just fire up that machine and off you go. You got mail! <laughs> for this list, we're looking at older online chat applications that have seen a decline in use over the years. We'll be including platforms that are now long gone, as well as those that are still operating but with a small user base. Do you have any fond memories of any of these? Let us know in the comments. All right, let's log in. Number 10. Bulletin Board Systems, or BBS. You can play your StarQuest game or whatever, run around the universe and, and, and leave messages telling your friend how you blew up his home planet and ha ha ha. A long time ago in a basement far, far away, there were individual computers attached to phone lines that people could connect to via a modem. Known as bulletin board systems, these platforms allowed people to post messages, play text-based games, and if you were lucky, engage in an online chat over your keyboard. Since the only way to access these systems was through a phone line, BBSs rarely allowed for more than one person to connect at a time, which meant that you usually chatted with the board owner. They paved the way for the likes of AOL, Prodigy, and other online services before the World Wide Web became the norm. Several people have found a new lease of life through bulletin board communicating. Number 9. Yahoo Messenger Given the world we live in today, it's all too easy to forget what the internet was like in a pre-Google era. At one time, Yahoo was one of the most popular ways to find anything on the web. During the company's heyday, they launched Yahoo Pager in 1998, which eventually became Yahoo Messenger in 1999. It launched at a time when instant messaging was becoming increasingly popular among early internet users. Yahoo's offering may have been similar to others, but it did have early attempts at voice chat, text messaging, and even the ability to use your webcam. Play games, chat with Facebook friends, share videos and pics, download the new Yahoo, Yahoo Messenger, get on, get hooked! Number 8. Internet Relay Chat, or IRC Internet Relay Chat was a system that allowed users around the world to join chat channels using an alias. All channels were prefixed by a pound symbol and always had operators that moderated that channel's conversation. IRC programs such as MIRC could be used to connect to any IRC network and allow you to chat with others. Channels also had controls to block certain users, limit how many could join a channel at a time, and even keep channels hidden from the main list. Despite changes in technology, IRC is still around and continues to be used by many, laying the groundwork for newer platforms with the likes of Discord. Number 7. iChat Hey! <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. I. Oh no. <laughs> Before it brought iPhone to the masses, Apple had already established itself with the iMac and iPod. Given how instant messaging was all the rage, Apple released their own online communication app called iChat in 2002. What started as a basic texting app eventually became a full-blown video communication tool. iChat is so powerful, you can even video chat with up to three people at the same time. How you doing? Hey guys, how's hey. it Over time, iChat began to support conversations with other IM networks like AOL and Google. As much as the app's capability increased and improved over time, it was eventually shown the door when the iPhone Messages app replaced it in 2012. Looking at old screenshots, however, you can still see a striking resemblance. Number 6. Game Pigeon This video is a reminder of just how many different instant messaging platforms exist, past and present. Should you choose to have an account on more than one of them, the need to have a separate app for each can become quite tiresome. Game was created and released in 1998 to solve this very issue. Now known as Pigeon, Game allows users to connect to multiple IM platforms using a single application. Open one app and you'd be able to see your ICQ, GTalk, AIM, MSN Live, and others all within a single unified interface. Pigeon is still in use today and even allows connections to platforms like Discord, WhatsApp, and Facebook Messenger. Number 5. Google Talk Launched in 2005, Google Talk sometimes known as GTalk, was Google's first foray into the instant messaging space. To start a conversation, click on a contact and a new tab will open at the top. 
and you can just go ahead and start chatting. They provided a standalone app you could download, but also allowed apps like Pigeon to connect to their service. Given how popular Gmail had become, it was a welcome integration when Gtalk was added to the Gmail application so users could chat directly to their email contacts. Google also enabled users to send and receive phone calls using the platform, but only if you had a full subscription to their Google Voice service. Google Talk was eventually discontinued in favor of Google Hangouts, although users can still use third-party programs to connect to the old chat network. Number 4. MySpace IM Check us, check, 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 my check us out on MySpace. MySpace. With everything the world has seen from the likes of Facebook, it's hard to fathom that at one time, MySpace was the social network to beat. At its peak, MySpace reached 115 million unique users. Since instant messaging had become such a vital part of internet culture at the time, it was only natural for the then-giant social media platform to create their own. All the typical IM features you would expect were included, but communication was limited to the MySpace world. Today, MySpace users can still IM each other if they happen to be on the old social networking site. Number 3. MSN Messenger Microsoft made its massive contribution to the world of instant messaging applications in July of 1999 with MSN Messenger. Introducing MSN Messenger service. Free instant messaging. I need copies on the ASAP! Double-sided with a cover page, please! The initial release actually allowed users to connect to their friends both on Microsoft's systems as well as AOL's, but that was short-lived. Windows Messenger was bundled with Windows XP and served as a feature-stripped version of the original. By 2005, it was renamed Windows Live Messenger to coincide with Microsoft's new branding. The following versions included an integrated Windows Media Player, file transfers, and more emote icons. To the younger audience, you might not understand how essential emote icons were back then. We had nothing but text, so a little smiley face went a long way. And then they included webcam conversations. Countless features continued to be added to the app until Microsoft acquired Skype in 2011 and merged the Messenger app into their Skype applications. In January of 2013, the company pulled the plug on the original IM service. How good was MSN, by the way? Yeah. There, right? Shit. These kids these days don't know how easy they've got it. Number 2. AIM, or AOL Instant Messenger At the height of the BBS era, several companies had begun to launch their own online services. AOL, or America Online, was just such a service. Bling, an instant message pops up. It's having a verbal chat electronically. I expect to get more and more messages as soon as some of my friends go on America Online. Beating out the competition, AOL provided many U.S. households with their first taste of in-home internet. In 1997, AOL offered a downloadable program that would allow its users to chat with each other. AIM, or AOL Instant Messenger, became the second largest instant messaging platform at the time. Wherever I go, I stay connected with everyone in my life. It's really easy to stay in touch. Many of the previous entries on this list spawned as a result of the release of applications like AIM. It's like a friend just pops in to say hi. And my buddy list is huge, I have like 80. In fact, AOL bought their biggest competition, a year after releasing their own IM platform, a testament to the company's influence and power at the time. There really was too much time wasted on like, maybe it wasn't wasted time, maybe it was well spent time to, you know, be poetic through away messages. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. ICQ Originally released in 1996, ICQ was the first notable instant messaging platform to hit the internet. A cute play on the words I seek you, this little app brought internet chat to the masses. It was the first IM client to feature much of what we've already discussed on this list. All it needed was for you to give yourself a nickname and add all your friends to your list. Soon enough, you'd hear the now famous uh-oh notification and conversations would ensue. Shortly after AIM was released, ICQ was bought by AOL in 1998. Despite being amalgamated into AOL, ICQ remains quite popular in some countries as an instant messaging application. Which of these chat platforms kept you up messaging long into the night when you should have been sleeping and or finishing that essay? ICQ, right here. 
that uh-oh noise gets me. Anyway, be sure to chat us in the comments or come tell me on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton or on my YouTube channel. See ya.